In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at some basics of using the lighting effect in your production. The lighting effect gives you the opportunity in post-production to change the lighting of a video clip, of a still image, or anything else you want to put in your timeline. What we have here, for example, is we have a short clip of a gal on a couch working on her tablet. Now what I'd like to do is take this and change the lighting of it a little bit. So we're going to go to our uh, action bar on the right side and click on the FX. And then in the effects, under advanced adjustments, we're going to pick lighting effects, drag and drop that right onto our video clip. Now immediately you notice that two things happen. First of all, most of the image is slightly less bright and there is a spotlight in the center. This is the default. It's done two things. First of all, you notice we have lights one through five. Each of these lights have the same controls and the default is to use light one and create a spotlight. If I click on the triangle that points right, they will open up all the settings of light number one and you notice it's set to spotlight. If I click the down area, by light type and click on none. Now, now we have the same image, but no spotlight. But you notice it also did something else, decreased the intensity of the light through the entire image. So what we're going to do is we look down here for ambience intensity. Now the ambient light color is defaults to white, but it's lowered the intensity to 20%. If I take the slider or I can type another number here or click on the plus, I can raise it to about 50%, which is kind of the default. So my picture started a bit like this. So it basically dims it down a little bit. I'm not going to dim it quite to 20. I'll stop about here. And then the default is to take this and add what's called a spotlight. So what I'd like to do is show you all the settings for one of the lights. We won't get into how to combine them and other things in this tutorial, but the basic things you can do. Since it's all already defaults to spotlight, let's look at that. When you select spotlight as your light type, the default color is white. You can change that and we'll show you how. You also have a default center of the light, the location of it in X and Y coordinates. Now I can drag left on my X and it will move it around and I can drag right or left on the Y coordinate it will move it up and down. I wish we had the same kind of uh, options that we have if we were working in Adobe Premiere because then you can actually click on the screen and move all these settings. Then there's what's called a major radius that's set to 30 and a minor radius that defaults to 20. What are those? This is the size of your light shape. The major radius, it goes from the top to the bottom and the minor radius goes from left to right. So if you make them the same, you wind up with a circle of light. That's the minor radius. Otherwise, it becomes more of an oval where the length of the light is longer than the width of the light. So you can think of it in terms of length and width a little bit in your settings. So that's what the major radius is, the distance from the light's source to the end where it's very diffused, and the minor radius is for across the width, if you will. The next thing you have is a setting for the angle of the light, and the fold is 225 degrees. And again, as, as I move this, we'll see it move in a circle in terms of where the source is coming from. So we could light her from this side if we wanted to. And then we can also move the X and Y coordinates. We can move it back a bit and then we can move it up a bit, even off the screen or way back. So it's way off and uh, in the, off the upper right corner of our screen over here. And then we can change the major radius. We can make it longer. A little more light that way. 
and we can actually widen it if we want to. We can also change the intensity of the light. The default is 30. We can make it less intense or we can make it more intense. And we can change the focus. Think of the focus as um, how it blends into the surrounding area. We can make it very intense. We can make it much less so. And so these are the things that you can change. Let's look at changing the light color. You can use the eyedropper or you can click on the square. When you do that, it will give you various options. Now, certain colors are used in certain kind of movies. Some dark movies will be on the blue shade. Um, you might some, find also some even on the red shade. Um, we'll use something maybe in the yellow, yellowish area here. Kind of light, not too intense. Yellow green. Well, maybe move down here a little more. And now I have a yellowish light that's coming in here for a spotlight. Again, I can move the location. I can change the intensity. And uh, it has a nice effect. It just depends on what you want to illuminate and where you want the focus of you, the eyes of the people who see your movie to, to be at that moment in time. If I were doing something about a hair commercial, I would probably move the light over to the left and then I would change that so that uh, it's angled slightly different as opposed to if I were focusing on the tablet. So here's a way to uh, slightly modify her hair a little bit. And we'll, we'll just make this a little less intense here. And we'll change the angle. Well, there's the one that just light, lights up her face. That's not too bad either. So um, you can adjust these any way you want uh, to modify that. That's all about the spotlight. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you some of the other things that you can do with a single light. And then we'll show you some other features of how you can combine light to draw the attention of your audience exactly where you want it to go.